are back with CJ Kirk and Meredith Neal from Krav McGraw Houston. They're going to demonstrate some self-defense strategies. First of all, guys, let's talk a little bit about what is Krav Maga. So Krav Maga was born in Israel. Uh, a man named Emil Lichtenfeld founded Krav Maga uh, prior to World War II. Um, and it is a self-defense system that was born out of need, obviously. And it was also developed around the concepts and ideas that we talked about when we're under stress, what it looks like with the human condition. So we started with, um, in this case, the, the idea that, that people can't function in, in the ways that they can function out of stress when they're in stress. So Krav Maga is a, is a self-defense system that was, was based on the reality of the human condition. Now today we're going to look at five different possible scenarios and Meredith here is going to demonstrate how we would get ourselves out of these scenarios. And she Meredith, looks so sweet and innocent over there. Well, I know. Meredith, <laughs> by the way, used to dance with the Houston Ballet and as you can see, she is not a 400 pound <laughs> linebacker. So uh, I am so curious to see how this is all going to work. Let's start off with a knife attack. Okay. I just happen to have this cardboard <laughs> completely <laughs> fake knife here completely in my back pocket sure. so we're going to use that as the prop you CJ are the attacker and Meredith Meredith is the you are the defender. unsuspecting victim so in this case I'm doing what's called an overhead stabbing motion I'm doing this <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that was fast. That. Can you guys slow that down just a little bit? <laughs> yeah, so what's happening is <laughs> she's making a strong defense and she's counterattacking at the same time. So she's punching with her right hand. Right. What's the left hand doing? Is that going up to try to push the knife away? Uh, it's just a, a platform to stop the knife. We don't want to push it away yet. We just want to stop it when we meet it. So when she's punching, though, you're punching for the throat, though, too, right? The face and throat, that's okay. right. Okay. Face and throat. Okay. Okay, got her, it. Her momentum is going to bring her forward. She's going to push the knife hand back and secure it. She's going to make knees to the groin, but she's being nice right now. Yeah. It was like a normal situation. If this right. was actually, you were actually being attacked, it would be as hard as you could, right? Absolutely. Um, she's going to bring the knife around. She's going to affect the back of my knuckles, open my fingers, strip the knife from me. And then in this case, she's backing away. On the way, that last step there, the way she sort of bent your, uh, your knuckles back, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that is just a... To Reflex cause pain. will automatically make it come out? Yeah, so if I make a fist like this, or if Derek makes a fist, and we just, we just start pushing the knuckles, you see how the, the, the hand starts opening, right? Oh, wow. So what she's <laughs> doing, she's driving with a lot of force on those knuckles, and the fingers open. She's oh, interesting. So as you wow. push it back, naturally the, the hand opens. That's right. Wow, okay, cool. Okay, so let's move on to a choke front. Thanks. We'll okay, a lot of times this. when people are enraged, they grab people by the throat. So if I'm enraged and I grab her here... <laughs> She responds appropriately. <laughs> Holy cow. You I'm are so not messing with you. <laughs> but, but sadly, in a situation, this does happen in a lot of domestic violence cases. That's right. Uh, okay, so can you walk through again, walk us slowly through what yeah, was happening? Let's do the again, same so thing. Fast. Yeah, so I'm, I'm choking Meredith, and because I'm so much bigger, she needs something other than strength to respond. So she's going to um, use a 90 degree angle to pluck my hands away from the power, and she's going to make a groin kick at the same time. She's going to rotate back and be strong. She's going to punch. Go to what we call a control position, use knees, and she's going to continue to attack until she feels like she's safe. So she's going for the groin as hard as she can multiple times. Yeah, um, the groin, as you might, might attest to, is, is linked to the central nervous system, right? So we want people not only to, to have that uh, to deal with, but most people will know if you, if you swing at someone's groin, they pull their hips back. Yeah. When you pull your hips back, structurally, you're not as strong. So naturally, you try right. to avoid that. Uh, what about for those times when somebody is walking or running at the park uh, and you get attacked from behind? Exactly. A bear hug. So in a, in a bear hug situation, I'm going to move up here. Um, let's, do, let's do this way. Uh, they're trying to wrest control of you, typically around the arms, but not always, and they're going to pick you up and take you somewhere. Right? So we have to drop our weight and respond. Oh my gosh, you are so wow. fast, Meredith. I can't believe it. Okay, so again, let's walk through this slow motion. Okay. I saw elbow to the groin. Yeah. One of the very well, first yeah, things it was you a groin, did. It was a groin slap. So I'm, I'm trying to get her and pick her up. As I, my hips move up, she's stepping off and making a groin strike. Then she's sitting me up with elbows, hitting my face to sit me up so that she can roll around, go to her control position, make her knees, and continue to attack until she feels safe. So, I mean, this seems like a lot of stuff going on that you have to be able to respond in a very split second. 
for that for that woman that's walking in the park, walking, you know, running, immediately just start going for the growing first. Is that your first line of, of attack when you're trying to defend yourself? I would hit whatever target is available. Okay. Uh, whether it's the eyes, whether it's the throat, whether it's the groin. Um, I always refer people when they ask this question to an episode of Cops when they grabbed this very skinny woman up and one officer had one arm, one officer had the other, and they were on both legs, and it took four officers to get her in the car, right? If you just fight as hard as you can and you're very active and you intend to be violent, uh, it's hard to deal with people like that. So, a couple more demos just very quickly. Hitting, we're keep, just yeah. about out of time. Okay. Here's your cardboard knife again. Let's talk about a different type of knife yeah. attack. So this would just be a knife threat. It's right? a knife threat. It's not uncommon, but what happens is the knife goes to the throat. She makes a pluck, <laughs> and she, she we call it giving me the knife back. So we're getting that kind of motion with it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And lastly, very quickly a choke hold up against a wall. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of times people use walls to pin people or immobilize them, and she's going to make a big circle here. Yes, 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 yes. And so this could be something you know, that might happen in like in a parking garage. Absolutely. Um, the, the truth is that your self-defense system has to work regardless of your surroundings, right? Mm -hmm. So whether you're in your home, whether you're in the mall, whether you're out, out in a desert, or whether you're in a parking garage, um, you have to be able to function based on the attack. And finally, CJ, you mentioned earlier a, a number of times that the mental rehearsal to prepare yeah. oneself for a scenario like these. Meredith, how many times have you done each of these exercises, would you say? Hundreds of times over the last two years. <laughs> Hundreds of times. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it really is something that becomes a muscle memory. Absolutely. Uh, to in order, in order to fight yeah. off an attack. And you guys do offer, you also Krav Maga classes, you guys offer self-defense classes, lessons. Want to let everybody at home know that as well so they yeah. can Thank they you. can check it out. Yeah, CJ. I'm going to be one of those jumping in one of those classes. Good. I'll say that right CJ now. CJ Kirk and Meredith from Krav Maga. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. We'll All be right, right back.